In this video, I am going to show you how to do calculations with dates. Alright, so if to create a calculated field as usual, we will right click and then create calculated field. And in this case, we are going to be looking at the difference between order date and ship date. So let's call this order to ship date. All right. So for you to create a calculated field with date from this drop down menu, you can from here you can just search date. And you can see many different date options. But in this case, I'll just use the drop down menu and click on date. And you can see all the date options available to you. So in this case, we are going to be using date difference to calculate the difference between two dates. And once you click on it, it will be added to your syntax area and to tell you what you need to, what you need to be able to calculate what you want. So date part is like what level should the calculation be done on? And date part is always lowercase and single quotation. So if you want to calculate the difference in month, you just put a month here. If you want to calculate the difference um, in weeks, you put in week here. If you want to calculate the difference in years, you put in year here. So that's what um, date part means. But in this situation, we want to calculate the difference in days. So we'll put um, day here. And then comma, it said start date. The day we want to start here is the order date. And then it says end date. We want to end with the ship date. And now calculation is valid. So basically it's going to do it's going to calculate the difference between order date and ship date on the day level. If we put week here, it's going to calculate the difference in weeks. If you put month here, it's going to calculate the difference in month. But weeks and month doesn't make sense for this calculation. We are looking for the day. How many days from your order date to your ship date. So our calculation is valid. And now we can just say, okay. And if you come here to measures, even though this calculation was done with um, dimensions, like the actual resulting calculation is a, it's an integer, it's a day, it's a single day, it's a number. So that's why it was added to measure. And of course, as you can see, the equal to sign means that this is a calculated field. Now we can look at this real quick just to make sure it makes sense. So to do that, I'm going to say for each order ID, I want to see the order date for it. But this right here is not at the granular day level. So to change that, I'll go down here. And we can try to use week number. But week number in this case is a continuous field. And it doesn't look right, but this is not what we want. So we'll go back here and change it to um, a dimension, a discrete value instead of a continuous value. And then I'll go here and click on more and do custom. And I want the month, the day and the year. And, I'm, and it defaults to a date part because this is a discrete value and click OK. So what we have here is the month, the day, and the year of order date. Now let's do the same for ship date and put this right here. And then we'll go to custom and Monday year. Okay. So this is the Monday year for ship date. And now we are going to take our order to ship date and put it on text. So this is six dates. It says that for this particular order from the order date to the ship date is six days. And that makes sense. That looks about right. Actually, in this case, I would like to look at the average. 
okay tells it's an average of six days that calculation looks right that calculation looks right that calculation looks right that calculation looks right april 15 to april 8 so basically our calculation looks right in this case we just calculated the difference between the order date the order date and the ship date now we can use this calculated field in other views so for example let's look at the average amount of time it takes to ship for each product subcategory for example so we can take this and then we can take this and put it here and let's change this instead of sum let's go to average so it takes about about an average of three days to ship for each category we can even take this to columns switch this up so we can kind of see the average amount of days to ship each product and we can take subcategory to color so it all has different colors for it and we can take this a step further and add something like category to it so we can see for each category and subcategory the average amount of time to ship it and we can even take this and just add it um, to label and switch this up so it's in cat so it's in tabular format and then let's take this like this we can make a copy of this and take it to color so what we are looking at right here is the average amount of days it takes to ship each product each product from each category and subcategory and of course we could also do something like this for like let's say each product right so let's bring out the product and let's take other dates to text and it tells you the average amount of days actually let's go here change this to average it gives you the average amount of days it takes to ship each product and that's it for this video of how to do calculated field with dates see you on the next video